Shalom. I want to start off by giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahabashai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. All right, double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect, the ones out there doing this work diligently and chiefly keeping the faith, making your calling and your election sure. I'm going to get right into it. What's on my spirit right now is to uh, talk about how the Lord got us, you know, and by us, I mean the elect, you know, as well as, you know, after this time, the two thirds are going to come into their right mind in the kingdom. But at this moment in time, man, the Lord got the elect, you know, more willing, I'm a part of that number. You know, but I can safely say throughout my life, the Lord has kept me, man. You know, just from personal testimonies, you know, personal things that the Lord has done in my life. I can say that he has kept me up until this point. You know, what's today is uh, Friday, you know, 2.18 p.m. Hey, man, the Lord has kept me up until now. You know, I can... He, he has kept me, man, and I'm pretty sure there's other brothers and sisters on this earth that can testify that the Lord has kept them, you know? It's been days where I didn't know where I was going to eat or, you know, things like that, and the Lord has made sure I have eaten, man. You know? The Lord is right there, has always been right there for us, man. You know? One of the precepts that come to mind is what? How the Lord said, roughly paraphrasing, well, cast all your cares upon him because he cared for you. Hey, when you really think about that and you really dive into that, you got to have faith to be able to do that. You got to have faith to be able to cast all your cares upon the Lord. You know? Hey, this flesh is weak. This flesh are trying to convince you that there is no God. This flesh are trying to convince you that the Lord don't exist. You know? But through the Spirit, you know. Through the Spirit, you know that the Lord exists. Through the Spirit, you know that it's the Lord that does all things. Praise us to Yahweh by Hashem Shai, man. Without our power, we can do nothing. Each day that go by, and you make it, you're breathing. Hey, the Lord has kept you, man. You have another chance to repent. You have another chance to beg the Lord to forgive you for your sins. You have another day to get closer to the power, man. To our power. He's not everybody's God. He's not everybody's power. The scripture says in Joel chapter 2 and verse 27 that ye shall know that he's in the midst of Israel and that he's the Lord our God and none else. And we shall never be ashamed. Roughly paraphrasing, man. You know? We shall never be ashamed. Yeah, we go through pain now. We gotta, we gotta work for these shekels. We gotta work for and and, and give Esau his taxes and and just be in a never-ending loop. Yeah, we gotta do that now because this is our captivity. And man, it hurts. You know, it breaks you down. But through the Spirit and power, Yahweh, 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 Shai, you get built back up through the Spirit, man. Hey, this is captivity. This is our bondage. You're going to have to work and you're going to have to pay. You got to pay every, you got to pay for everything in this kingdom. That's captivity. Everything on this earth was given to us for free. It was the elements was here for free. And now you got Esau, Edom, a damn devil ruling over us and paying, and we got to pay for everything. This is hell. This is captivity. This is bondage. Like my brother Yasharala like to say, 
This is a prison planet, man. A damn prison planet. And this is our captivity. No matter where you go on this earth, you're still going to be in captivity. You're still going to have to pay for the things that were given to us by the Lord for free. For free. And you can go out here and, you know, um, uh, cut down a tree and things like that. But nah, they control that. So that way they can charge you for it. You know? All of this was for free, man. If, if you if you know how to if you know how to make paper and don't know how to till the land, then guess what? You can trade your paper for food. That's an equal bargain, man. All these things that Esau Edom charged for and these other nations that's ruling charging for, you can actually eliminate money and do like a bartering system. A borrowing system or a borrowing system where you know um, if you can do something and I can't and I can do something that you can't we can trade our services in order to get the things that we want if you got something I want right and I got something you want we can trade our skill sets right we can trade the skill but these people man they just want to put a tax on everything you know this is hell. And before you know it, the damn devil, you know, is going to try to make you pledge allegiance to this damn prison system, to this damn camp. All right? And it's going to be via that MOTB. Okay? It's going to be via that MOTB, man. All right? He's going to want you to pledge allegiance. He's going to want you to, you know, uh, prove your, your allegiance, man. And don't take that MOTB, you know? Live off the herbs, man. Learn about the herbs. All right? Learn about Angelica. Learn about dandelions. Learn about several different herbs, man, that can keep you. Learn about the, the plants that can give you water and food at the same time, like watermelon, cantaloupe, things like that, man. Hey, that's what you're going to have to survive on if you don't take those M the MOTB. You're going to have to survive off, you know, the land, off your how about Shem Yabashai feeding us, man. Like you do now. Don't take that MOTB, man. You know? Because it's nothing but death that awaits. All right? Hey, the Lord got us, man. In Sirach chapter 33 and verse 1, the Lord said what? You know? Even if you fear the Lord, even temptation, he will deliver you. Even in temptation, he will deliver you, man. If you fear the Lord, he will deliver you. He will, man. You have to trust and believe in that. That's your. That's where your faith come in. You have to trust and believe in that. That's the thing. You part of the elect. Hey, over time, the Lord is going is going uh, uh, you know glorify, magnify your faith. You know why? Because these chariots are going to come back to deliver us. Lord willing, I'm a part of that number. The, you know, the Lord is going to deliver us from Jacob's trouble. We're going to be whole again. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we're going to get new bodies and a new mind where we will never go off. We will never go off. Imagine that. Never going off. Never sinning. Those are the times that we're coming upon when we get those new bodies. So, according to prophecy, the Lord got us. According to prophecy, we have overcame the wicked one already through the blood of Yahawashai, man. That's what Yahawashai told us, what? Be of good cheer. In a world, you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. Roughly paraphrasing, what? He have overcame the world, man. The Lord has overcame this, this world of wickedness. The shadow of death. The Lord have overcame this place, man. Took this place over through the spirit. We just got to get there. According to prophecy, the Lord got us, man. According to prophecy, the Lord got us. It's peace and prophecy. So yeah, go through the, go through 
go through the captivity now go through the countless hours of working for nothing go through the go through it man the scripture says through much trib uh, through much tribulation we shall enter into the kingdom of heaven man you gotta go through it hey don't and you fall you know you break down and this shit get brings tears to your eyes hey man keep it moving wipe them tears off okay yeah you get weary but keep it going man all right keep it going this made this world was made to destroy us to defeat us if you're an Israelite this world was made to to break you down to defeat you but guess what through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you're gonna overcome. It was ordained for you to overcome. You know? It was ordained for you to defeat the wicked one. Through prophecy, we will defeat the wicked one. We will defeat all of this hard bondage and you know the mental bondage in these prison, these uh physical prisons that we in, which are, which are these bodies. Yeah, we're gonna overcome this body too, man. According to prophecy, we overcome this body. We overcome the, the wicked Edomites. We overcome it all, man. So stay strong. Yasharala, stay enduring. Don't let this, don't let this world defeat you. Don't let your sin defeat you. Repent and keep it moving through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Hopefully this was edifying. I'm gonna end it by giving all honor and glory to. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kodash, La'ewalam Yum. Double honors once again to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom.